don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. And that's a fact. You got the city hot. Foul. Don't fuck around. What's good, Stella? Gang, it's your boy Upper Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction Channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Now, really, like, hit the like button, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Cause if it's your first time watching me, it gets really lit over here. And I mean, if you're the type of person that likes the mixiness, this is where you need to be. Cause BMG really got the city high, you feel me? But today, we gonna, I got this little screen recording of Tory Lanez live. Um, He's speaking about the whole situation and shit like that. So look, we gonna sit here, we gonna watch it, and we gonna decipher whether or not he telling the truth or he's fabricating the whole story. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people been going back. This this been a topic for a little minute now. Everybody been going back and forth. Everybody have their own assumptions. Everybody feel the way they feel. And some people feel the other way. Some people side with Tori. Some people side with Megan. You know what I mean? I ain't really here to pick a side based on favoritism or who I like better or which artists I listen to or male or female should not. I'm I'm gonna base my opinion on realness like I normally do, you feel me? Cause at the end of the day, I'm gonna listen to what he's saying, you feel me? If it sit right, then you know, you gotta rock with it. Like, yeah, I believe it. If it don't sit right, then you know, I got my questions, you get what I'm saying? So anyway, let's get straight into it and see what's going on. Listen, you guys and, you know, all this extra shit, this nigga keep talking about me. And I'm on the bow. I'm over here watching this, like, yo, what did I say? I didn't say nothing. I said nothing to you. It's nothing. This nigga keep talking about me, bro. And so, you know what? Now we just gonna do it. This nigga, Tori, shot me, bro. This nigga shot me. He shot me. She gets into it, she gets into it, she gets into it, she gets into it. This nigga shot me. She starts breaking down the story. And I want y'all to pay close attention to how she breaks down the story. Okay? Really pay close attention. She breaks down the story. Paying attention, says, Tori. Yo, I'm arguing. I'm in the car. I'm arguing with this nigga. I'm tired of arguing with this nigga. We get into a heated argument. I'm tired of arguing with this nigga. I get out the car. This nigga get out the car, out the car, and he starts shooting me. For no reason. He starts. All right, first of all, all right, they are arguing in the car. He gets out the car and shoots her. All right, first of all, if they were in a relationship and all that shit, they probably had an argument before. So why he ain't shoot you then? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Shoot me. So boom, then the cops pull us over and da 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 da. Oh, let's take let's take the first facts back to what she just said. So this nigga got some ugly ass fingers, bro. You tell me that you're in a car with a person, and this person is arguing with. Yo, Mari! Yeah. Shut up, man. Dude, this person has gotten you to a place of like, yo, I don't even wanna be around you. Like, I'm above this, I'm out of here. You get out of the car because the heated argument is so heated. And then this person gets out and shoots you in both of your feet. And you both, jump back in the car? Both feet, though. Not one foot. Both of them shits. Why, why would you jump back in the car with a dangerous man who just did because she was injured and she couldn't walk, my nigga. So she got back in the car. She needed a ride. What'd you think? <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking. A dangerous crime to you who did this criminal intent to you and all this, all this. Facts. Why? Why, why, are you, why would you jump back in the car? Why? why? For real. And the police pull us over and I see, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, we're all black in the car. There's a gun in the car. So I don't even want to. I don't even want to be like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to get in more trouble. And I'm trying to protect this man. I'm trying to protect this man because at the end of the day, it's niggas getting shot at him. She then throws the black card at me. I'm trying to protect this black man. Why would you try to protect this black man and then tell on him? That shit kind of seemed fishy. And like, 
Listen, Megan Thee Stallion, she, what, about 25 years old? A lot of females nowadays around that age group, they still malleable. Even though they're grown women, they're still malleable because nowadays, females ain't as mature as they used to be. They're mad childish nowadays, you feel me? They're malleable. Anything that's on social media going on, they running with that wave and they following shit. So people saying certain shit could have gave her certain ideas, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not... I'm not saying she lied or nothing yet, but let's watch it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nobody ever reported that you got shot but you. So why are you, how are you trying to protect me? At what point were you trying to protect me? At what point? Word, though. You know I got a child, you know that- Word, though, like you, you the one who, word. Like you told and then you telling you These type of situations, even an accusation, is something that I can't even be playing with. I don't even play with my life like that. Yeah. My life like that. So why would that, like, I, that, to me, this doesn't make sense. Okay, cool. Yo, I lied to the cops. I lied to the doctors. Let me tell you why they saying there's glass in my feet, though. Because I lied to the cops. I lied to the doctors. I lied to this, that, and the third. Like, all right, all right. You lied to the doctors and, and all of that shit. But first of all, like, a doctor wouldn't be able to tell the difference with a glass shard and a bullet. Like, I think a doctor would be able to tell. That's like saying, yo, somebody cut you with a box cutter and somebody stabbed you with a knife. And you can't tell the difference with a cut and a stab. Like, that doesn't work. Ladies and gentlemen, I need us to really understand what she's saying here. You mean to tell me that these medical doctors that are in a ambulance that work on on-site injuries 24-7... Yeah, that's a word that really fucks up the like really fucks up my mental what kind of pronunciation. Is it ambulance or ambulance? Because he said ambulance. Is it ambulance or ambulance? Like For for all day, they have to know every type of on-site injury. The specifications on the type of on-site injuries. Facts. So they can so they can treat it right. You mean to tell me you lied to these people and they just treated you for glass when you had a bullet in you? Yeah, that sounds like... If that's what you're saying, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say they were dumb. You mean to tell me that the cops who were called for a gunshot in a Suburban or whatever the car was found that same Suburban and found a gun in it, see you leaking, and didn't check you for bullet wounds? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say they were dumb. You then further said, yo, I'm not caught my like a motherfucker smoking. <laughs> you then say... You then say, oh, well, I was trying to protect this black man, so I never said nothing. I was, I didn't want them to shoot me. I didn't want them to kill me. What? Okay, but when me... I didn't try to protect the black man, but you didn't want them to shoot you. Kelsey and Kwan... He said, like, you protecting yourself. Fighting. You were in a stretcher. No one is going to shoot you in a stretcher. You had plenty of time to tell the cops that you were in danger. You had plenty of time. True. I'm not That's protecting true. somebody who just heinously shot me after a conversation that we just had. I'm not, my mind is not on protecting you. I'm bleeding from my feet. I'm thinking about protecting my own life and I'm in danger. Why would That's a fact, guys, because real, real shit, if you, were, if you were to get injured, the first thing on your mind was to get, you would want to get to the hospital to make sure that you're safe and you're good and all of that shit. Especially for a female, the person who allegedly attacked you was right there on the scene. You would be wanting to get away from that person, word. Why would you not say that with two feet bleeding from two bullet holes, what, from what you're saying? And if you tell anyway, that means you was gonna tell. So why not tell right I, then I and there? I don't understand that. It don't make sense. Word. Then there's this whole narrative of, you know, like, I didn't want to. I didn't want to put this black man on a. On, on, you know, I didn't want. I didn't want. I don't want to get him in trouble. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm protecting this man. And he keeps talking, and so now, you know, he keeps getting his, his media team to start doing certain things to make me look incredible and to smear me, and to make him look good and to make it look like I'm. Not, hold on, ladies and gentlemen, have I been around in the last three months? Saying anything? Nah. Have you seen in the last three months one article that made me look good during this? Hell no. One? <laughs> nah. Have you seen it? Nah. You haven't seen it nowhere. Because then you got PR team. It's like a lot of street niggas that's using their common sense and shit like that. And then you got a lot of niggas that want to be street niggas and they be fabricating their lifestyle and they want to say this, that, and the third. Bro, first of all, somebody shoot a person in the foot. 
My nigga, and the police come and find that gun, bro. Up to now, all this time, that ballistics and everything would have done came back already. And it would have been like, I, all this shit, it would have had all the information already right now that would have been pointing at him. If they don't have that yet, it's obvious that somebody else might have did it. You feel what I'm saying? Word. He was not out here playing with my jeopardy of my life. And how the hell they try to give somebody 22 for a foot shot? Like Freedom. Y'all are doing this for the internet. This is my life. I'm the only person with the case. So at the end of the day, when you say, y'all, 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 like, I'm not gonna jeopardize my son. Even if I know, regardless of what I know, it will come to light and the, the truth will come to light and the whole issue with that. I have no issue with that. But I need y'all to understand, like, I'm a human being, bro. Like, this shit hurts, bro. Seeing my friends, people that I had on quarantine radio, be people that were just like, 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 like. Facts, though. My real, like, at least people I thought were my friends. Facts, like, people dude. I thought were, like, cool people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Focus. And it's like, yo, everybody just showed me. Facts, I showed though. everybody love at the top of the year. Everybody was on quarantine radio. He, he, ha, ha, ha. And the second, y'all have an accusation, not even evidence. Niggas just come facts. bashing. That's a fact. I'm somebody who just, I don't get a say. Then I understand. Yeah, I feel where you're coming from. Is unconventional, you know, and I, I came to a place where I was dealing with so much uh, just talk and heat and just people coming at me that I made music because I was like, this is how I can speak through what I gotta do. This is how I can. We get so mad about artists making songs about the same thing money, chains, and cars. So when a nigga comes out and says his true passion, puts his true heart, his emotions, his, the, the pain that he's dealing with with his baby mother, his, his child, when a nigga goes and does that and pours his emotion into the tape, oh, what, he wrong? I'm wrong, I get shunned off. They took me off of every single playlist. They took me off of every playlist. They didn't want my story to come out. They didn't allow my story to come out because it, it came off insensitive. I came up insensitive to people now. Yo, now. that's the thing that I don't like nowadays, right? You're not able to be 100. You're not able to be authentic anymore because people, it's like they're training people to be so sensitive and people not even noticing. It's like, yo, bro, like you're you're losing yourself now. Your emotions that you would have naturally have, you're making someone tailor your emotions for you to think somewhere else. Some, some feel somewhere else. You feel me? Because like if something would have got you mad, you you like, damn, I can't get mad because if I get mad, people going to say I'm insensitive. No, you're a human. You're supposed to get mad. That's a human emotion. You're supposed to get mad. We have those emotions for a reason. You feel me? You're supposed to get mad. Why you think a lot of people go crazy? People go crazy because they're holding in their emotion and they're putting up fake facades to please the masses and make everybody else happy. And in the long run, they struggling inside because they holding so much shit inside. You feel me? And they going local. And y'all niggas, as soon as a nigga go local now, it's, oh, yeah, he's crazy. Now, everything you do is discredited. But aren't these the same people that told you that you need to be more sensitive? <laughs> be wise, man. Like, listen, son, I ain't letting nobody tell me how to react to certain... If if some, if the stove is hot and I touch the stove, my reaction gonna be, ah, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be a, oh, my God, I got burned by the stove. It's not gonna be that. Come on, like, be real, man. I don't want to speak on this. I don't ever want anybody to ever think that I've been insensitive to Breonna Taylor. I marched nine days straight in Miami for her and George Floyd. I would not, bro, I've mourned this woman as well. And everyone said, listen, we're mourning a black they, woman today. They're going to bring up a lot of irrelevant how, shit. How dare like, they? Why they even that? talk about that? That don't got nothing to do with this case. That day that I dropped that album, my that mom, that got nothing to do with this case. Birthday. And that was also the day she died. <laughs> That's crazy. So, she died on I was also birthday. mourning a black woman. Man. My mother. That Our meant a lot mom, to me. My name is Daystar. I'm her youngest son. That meant a lot to me. And all I was doing was giving a truthful album about what I'm going through. And I thought that people were going to be able to hear it and feel me. But they didn't do that. And I don't expect, you know, everyone to... Yo, people never going to feel you when they're already told to do something or react a certain way. If they're already... if. If the social media already tailored their mind already, they're not going to... What you thought was, I right, if I came out and said my truth, then people would rock with me or people would, you know, 
understand where I'm coming from or, 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 or yo, they'll stop bashing me. No, they were already told that they needed to bash you. It went super viral. You have NBA players, rappers, everybody bashing you. And these are the people that the community looking up to. They're going to follow that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I heard you said something about your masters. You got your masters back and then all this shit started happening. That shit crazy because Michael Jackson died and a lot of other famous black men died because shit like this. You feel me? But everybody say it's a, it's a conspiracy theory and you know it's just bullshit. You know what I mean? Because everybody's not rich. Everybody's not a famous rapper. Everybody's not in the industry to understand what's going on in the industry. Everybody has a opinion based on what they, they they see. So if somebody watches TV and they see this, they're going to have an opinion based on what they saw. You feel what I'm saying? They're not going to have the opinion that you will have because you're actually going through the shit. You feel what I'm saying? To just jump into my side because at the end of the day, I didn't deserve that for the way that I handled this. There's been insensitive things that I've done I apologize for as far as me not talking to y'all. Yo, y'all niggas too, that's another thing with y'all rappers, right? If you write... If you right, I don't care how much bashing they want to bash, bro. If you right, be right. You don't got to apologize for being right. And that's a problem when people come. You don't have to be submissive to the masses, bro. If you're right, you're right. What you apologizing for? Uh, addressing y'all, coming to y'all sooner and saying, yo, bro, I ain't do this, my nigga. But y'all got to understand the reason why I wasn't able to do that. Once they made this an actual thing, I immediately called the lawyer and was just like, yo, uh... Uh, what can I do here? Because there's times I was like, I'm going to just say the whole story right now. They need to know. No, you're not allowed to talk. I will handle that for you in the court of law. So at that point, it gets to a standpoint where it's like, that part. you know, my bad, my, I'm, I'm not sure. Listen, I'm not about to finish this whole shit, but I'm going to have my reaction plus the whole video on my page. So you can watch the whole, the whole rest of the video and shit. It got some more minutes to go, but I'm not about to watch the whole shit because this video already 16 minutes long. You feel what I'm saying? But anyway, like this whole situation, right? Remember, there's the truth, there's a lie, there's your side and my side, right? Now, at the end of the day, you know they be saying, yo, it's three sides to the story, your side, my side, and the truth. But nah, there's a lie too. You got to put the lie in there too because either way you put it, even when you're telling the truth, sometimes you end up putting a lie in it because you want your truth to be so true. Like, people do that shit. Like, they lie even when it's, like, the what they're saying is true. They lie a little bit to make it look more authentic. If you understand what I'm saying. For me, a lot of people do shit like that. They lie while telling the truth. But anyway, like, I believe his side because, first of all, you got shot. By the person you still in the car with them after you got shot. That don't make no sense. Now, you got out the car or you got shot in the car? Which one? You got out the car and he started shooting at you. Okay, so then how did you get back in the car with the injuries? It's like, all right, shorty, you're confusing yourself now. You feel what I'm saying? Now, like, would Tory Lanez be... You see the same way y'all bashing him, right? If he go to court... And then beats his case. And then they say, yo, Megan Thee Stallion was lying and she was fabricating shit. And he say, yo, you know what? Because she put me through so much, I think she should go to jail for slandering my name. You feel me? Like, I think she should go to jail for that. Now, what you gonna call him? A bitch ass nigga and a snitch, right? But everybody is vouching for Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, you're not a, she not a snitch. She's a female. She's not in the street. Yo, bro, at the end of the day, sex has nothing to do with snitching. Gangster has nothing to do with snitching. Being street has nothing to do with snitching. Snitching is a moral thing, bro. Like Papoose even said it. Snitching is a moral thing. Because growing up as a child, when you was on the playground and had that one kid that snitched on everybody, nobody liked him. Nobody wanted to play with that kid. Because he's a tattletale. Let, that's what he used to say in the play. Yeah, you're a tattletale. So as a child, if you have that thought in your head that, yo, listen, I don't like people that tell. Why you grow up now to be someone that tells and it's okay? And then you guys make the excuse that, oh, no, you're not street. She not street. So it's okay for her to snitch. No, it's not okay for anyone to snitch. Because at the end of the day, if you don't like being snitched on, you shouldn't snitch. 
If your sister, ladies, if your sister saw you cheating and she went and told your boyfriend, would you like it? Fellas, if your, 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 your brother saw you cheating on your girl and he went and told your girl, would you like it? No. Yo, this nigga a rat ass nigga. That's some suck ass shit. Oh, this bitch is a bum ass bitch. She hanging. She probably like my nigga. And you got to put that in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a perspective when it comes to everything else. You can't just pick a side when you want to prove an argument. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm going to let y'all make y'all decisions in the comment section. What y'all feel about the situation. Y'all let me know. Leave a like. Leave a comment on the video. And I mean, I'll probably keep up with the story because I'm sure she probably going to make another video after he made this video. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. It's your boy up class. <laughs> If you not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.